Hello, I'm Simon Evans. Welcome to Headliners. Tonight I am joined by two people who are comfortably in the top 30 funniest people at GB News. Comfortably, comfortably. <laughs> Not even scraping the edges. Josh Howie and Simon Fanshaw. Good evening, gentlemen. How are you? Take well, care, What a wonderful compliment. Thank you. Yes. Well, listen, GB News is not short of comedy talent, actually. And also, so they've written that as if it's some kind of sarcastic, but no. No, this is true. And from the 31st... Funniest. I think that's a great compliment to both of us. Excellent. Let's take a look at tomorrow's front pages. We start with the Daily Mail, who go with one of the least catchy headlines of modern times. How the left-wing Twitterati crowed as the heavens opened just before Liz Truss arrived in Downing Street for her big speech. Then in a moment loaded with cheering symbolism, the skies cleared and our new PM declared, together, we can ride out the storm. Churchillian, no question. The Telegraph goes with, we can ride out the storm without the preparatory paragraph. The Guardian, into the storm, trust vows to solve cost of living crisis. Mitigate it, perhaps. Financial Times goes with Truss assumes office. Nice use of the proper verb there. With vow to steer Britain out of energy storm. The Times, we can ride out the storm. The mirror uh, we have on the screen there. Now fix the Britain you lot broke. Uh, times now, I think. There we are. We can ride out the storm. The Daily Express, I think, coming up next, goes with together we can ride out the storm. And freezing energy bills at £2,500 will definitely help. Will it, though? And finally, the Daily Star. It's hard to believe after the last few years, but we're now running out of clowns. <laughs> Terrifying <laughs> proposition. Britain facing shortage of red-nosed fools. And those were your front pages, ladies and gentlemen. We will take a look inside. <laughs> 